Welcome to ChemHelp ASAP. Let's see an intramolecular Claisen condensation, which is called the Dieckmann condensation. What is a Claisen condensation? It involves the attack of an ester enolate, as a nucleophile, onto an ester carbonyl as an electrophile. The Claisen requires two esters, one as an enolate and the other as an electrophile. If you connected those two esters in the same molecule, then the attack would lead to the formation of a new ring. That is the Dieckmann condensation. In the middle of the screen is a Dieckmann condensation. Just like the Claisen, the Dieckmann makes a beta keto ester as the product. The difference is that the Dieckmann also makes a new ring. Let's see how this works. Step one, treat with an alkoxide base. Notice that we have the methyl ester in our molecule. Our alkoxide is specifically methoxide. This is a base. and deprotonates the alpha carbon to one of the esters. To form an enolate, here is that enolate. Notice that we have a nucleophile that is one, two, three, four, five atoms away from an electrophile, the carbonyl. The enolate will attack the carbonyl and form a five-membered ring which is a tetrahedral intermediate, the O- minus kicks out the methoxy, that forms our beta ketoester. As we know from the Claisen, under basic conditions of the reaction, the base methoxide will deprotonate the acidic proton between the carbonyls that will form a highly stabilized enolate. This is where the reaction ends until acid and water is added in the second step. to neutralize the enolate and give the final beta keto ester. This is kind of cool, making a ring. We just made a five-membered ring. Those form pretty well because there is not much ring strength. If you make the diester chain one carbon longer, so let's go in the upper left, let's make this chain longer by one atom. you can form a six-membered ring. So we perform the enolate there, one, two, three. So that would give a six-membered ring. Other ring sizes do not work very well. So the Dieckmann does have some limitations. Regardless, the Dieckmann condensation is a very useful reaction for making five and six-membered rings. The rings include a beta-ketoester and go through an enolate intermediate just like the Claisen condensation.